so tell us a little bit about this film and um, uh, tell us how did Atia open up and agree to the fact that she wanted to do this with you? Well, Atia actually initiated the process. So um, Atia had been uh, in a, an abusive relationship 20 years previously when she was a teenager. Um, and then uh, had moved to Toronto and just by chance had run into her uh, former partner. Uh, on the streets and uh, after uh, this happened a few times she decided that she would like to uh, have conversations with him and uh, and he was open to that and uh, so she actually shot the first conversation filmed the first conversation on her own uh, with the help of a friend it was a very uh, raw uh, uh, document of uh, very difficult conversation and so that's when I came in it was uh, you know that had been completed, I could see that, I could see, um, you know, what potential there was in the story. And originally we were, you know, not certain that it was going to be specifically uh, a Tia story, but uh, the, the more we, um, the more we discussed it, the more we realized that, uh, you know, all the elements that were needed to cover the issue were covered in her own story. So. Um, I'm pretty sure there was a lot of uh, emotional and uh, challenging parts in doing this film, but uh, what stood out to you most in terms of the challenge of putting together uh, this film? Well, I mean, I guess the hardest part was, uh, I mean, Atia was ready for it. Her ex, uh, her former partner, wasn't as ready for it, you know, like she, she had been dealing with this for... 20 years, and I think he had been avoiding it as much as possible for 20 years. So um, he did come through, and it was just incredible that he was able to bring what he did. Um, I mean, they were both just amazing in being able to uh, have this unbelievably difficult conversation on camera. Um, and to do, the, you know, it, it, it is a benefit to them, but really, I, I think what they're doing is. is uh, a benefit to all of us as an audience to be able to um, witness this and and uh, keep the conversation public. Do you find that um, doing a film such as this is uh, very therapeutic to um, Atia? I, I think that was uh, you know probably the main point for her to start this was that uh, it, it was about uh, a process of healing. Um, and his participation was what, for her what she needed to to move along with with this uh, with the healing that she needed. Yeah, so it definitely was therapeutic, and uh, and our hope is that it was therapeutic for for him as well. Tell us the um, uh, getting the support from the National Film Board and. Uh uh, tell us a little bit about that and how they helped you out in regards to this film. Yeah, well, uh, myself and our producer, Kristen Kleckner, have had a uh, you know, long-term relationship with the NFB, so um, it was uh, very comfortable and, and uh, for us to have a partnership with them, and uh, you know, we're very grateful that uh, they were able to come in and bring the resources that they did, resources and support that they brought to it. Yeah. Now, how does it feel to be here at uh, Hot Docs and uh, showing this film uh, at this type of platform? Yeah, well, I mean, this is what our hope was, uh, you know, from the beginning was that uh, we'd be able to premiere here, um, both because it's uh, it's a local story and uh, because it's uh, such a great audience for uh, for a documentary. So, well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.